Well, hello. So Bob Brockway here. Uh, February 23rd, 2010. I'm going to show you. <clears throat> Hopefully the humidity is quite high. It's 68%. But I wanted to show. I have not shown this ion engine type before because this is, though it's not new to me, it's my latest one. I have a cone assembly rotating. You'll see that it's a slightly larger, about a two inch <coughs> grounding. There is quite a bit of difference. This has two emitter cones. The outside emitter cone is a positive. It has a cylinder shaped ion emitter on the inside. That's a negative emitter. And the pulse generator is built right inside the cone. I'm going to see how well it will run at this high humidity. I'm going to make this short because I so I can <coughs> email it. Alrighty, I'm going to fire it up. We'll explain more later. See if the generator wants to work. Popping pretty good. going to be a little salt taken off because of the high humidity. Now this is quite a bit different than the earlier ones. I learned a lot more about the pulse generator, how to use it, more what it works, how it works. If you looked at the earlier videos, you'll notice that I have now added more dielectrics in the base I was getting a real heavy spark over so I tightened that up and I also <clears throat> and I'll explain why I'm I don't ground it back to the Van de Graaff the ground goes directly to earth ground and uh, well I can tell you why but I explain it in detail later that uh, is owing to the fact that the pulse generator puts out a, a secondary coil, or the secondary plate coil is negative, and if you go back to the Van de Graaff, it uh, impedes it because there's enough negative there at the base. So in order to get both emitters to work to their optimum, I go directly to earth ground as much as I best I can. As you can see, even with the high humidity, this is one thing that's very different about this ion engine is that it works well almost in every range that I've tried it. And when I say range, I mean humidity range. I've had as low as 38%, and this is probably one of the highest humidity, 68. It's pretty high. It generally won't even attempt to run anything above 70%, not because it, the, the ion engine will work. There's not a problem there. It's the, the generator. I don't want to, the generator is loses capability at real high RPM and it has a tendency to uh, deteriorate the, uh, the belt in the generator quicker if you run it at higher RPMs continually. I, uh, this I read I, and my experience tells me that it's true.
we got about a five minutes of recording into it. I'm going to keep it short so I can email this thing out. Though the humidity, it will affect you. Notice that I generally can get this thing up to between a good on uh, between 30 and 35 RPM total. It's about in other words, I can get it up to about 28 inches a second, which it's not going to get there today. But the long, longer you run these, they uh, settle down and uh, will continue to gain RPM up to their maximum. Maximum so far is that I've reached with this design, with this configuration and everything, the maximum is 28 inches a second. But I've been working on uh, making sure to get all the energy to the unit, which I was losing a lot in the rotating pickup. It's a lot better, at least I don't hear it. I'm not saying you can't stop it all, but you can keep it to a minimum. Right now we're running about um, three seconds of rev. So if you divide three into 52 inches, You get some idea. Running about 16, about 16 inches a second. And it may pick up, but it's never failed to run. I uh, I'll get some tapes when the when the humidity the humidity gets down around 55, 68. That's what I really like to run at anymore. Actually, anything below 65 is real good. But this one will go. It's like I said, well, you see it's going. And it'll actually improve the longer you let it run. If I let it run for about 10, 15 minutes, it'll, well, it'll start approaching 30 RPM. I can't say that it dries the air out around it, and I don't know really why that I doubt. And it's, it's holding right at about 3 RPM, 3 seconds of rev, I mean. So we're going to shut this down, and uh, Go on from there.